Well, what's up, everybody? It is your favorite, or at least maybe your top 10 favorite amateur pastor artists during the coronavirus quarantine of 2020. And this coming Sunday, this Sunday is Mother's Day, and this is just a little helpful pastor advisory out there for all of you husbands and sons and daughters that it's coming. So you should make her something like a macaroni necklace or order something online, breakfast in bed. I almost did a craft show to show you how to make homemade pop-up cards. Those are really neat. We can do that some other time. But in honor of Mother's Day, I am going to paint a very poor copy of a famous painting by the Impressionist painter Mary Cassatt. You see, men weren't the only Impressionist painters. There were some fantastic women as well, and Cassatt was my favorite female. My, my favorite painting that she did, my absolute favorite she ever did, was called Breakfast in Bed. So that's what we're going to do. So check it out. So here we go, I have a rudimentary bottom layer and I just use a, a, a nice neutral brown color. Like this is a transparent raw umber, a little tip if you wanna do some painting. You do a bottom layer in a, in a neutral color like this, you can always cover it up, especially with acrylics. And it's just something to follow. Um, and then you start adding some depth, you start adding some much needed detail. And we'll just keep on going with this painting and see how it looks. Okay, so took a while and here it is. This is rough and I mean really, really a rough approximation of Mary Cassatt's famous work, Breakfast in Bed. This is so rough. This is like an impression of an impressionist painting. And what I've learned from this is I will never ever paint on a eight by 10 canvas again. This is way too small and the canvas is really rough. This is the last of my Walmart canvases. Walmart's been picked clean. I also learned from this, I need more brushes. I need some really, really small detailed brushes. And hey, if you'd like to contribute to John's uh, brush fund or something, I'd be open to that. But, but maybe you can see why I painted this painting for Mother's Day and why I like it so much. It's because this image here, you've got the little curly haired toddler He's sitting in bed, curled up into mom's arms, and she's laying in bed. This is, for me, like a universal image of what motherhood is all about, right? The, the original does look better, and feel free to Google it, but the toddler is wide awake and is snacking on something, and the mom is just looking at him, pleased with a, a half a smile, and her eyes are open, but she's tired, obviously, but at the same time, she's happy and she's just content to have her little one with her. And they both have this wonderful glow of warmth and life to them. And I also imagine she has some really strong coffee sitting in that cup. But 
But let me ask you, is this image familiar to you? It is for me because I can remember fond images of seeing my wife with each of our kiddos at some point. And sometimes she'd have maybe two of them at the same time sitting in bed uh, with her. And I can't remember because I was little, but I bet my own mom has fond memories of holding me or one of my brothers, but mostly me when we were young too. And when they do that, they look just like this mom here. You know, that's how moms look. They look exhausted. Moms get very few days off, but they also are just very happy and content to have their little baby with them. And the child is very happy and to be securely held and kept close and cared for by, by their mom. And like I said, for me, this is the image of Mother's Day. And it's a reminder to me also that there is no substitute. There is none for a good mom. Us dads, we can, we can fill a unique and special role for our kids, but this image reminds me of why God gave us mothers. And one of the reasons God gave us moms is so that we can grow up and understand through our own mothers what God's unfailing love is like for us. Here's a verse for you for Mother's Day. It's Isaiah 49, verse 15. And God asks this question. He asks, can a mother forget her nursing child? Can she feel no love for the child she has born? And God asks this hypothetical question. He says, is it possible for a mother to forget about and, and not love and not care about one of her children that she gave birth to and that she nursed and raised up in the world? Is it possible for a mom to stop loving one of her little ones? And the answer to that question is never or almost, almost never ever. I mean, here in this world, our basic understanding of love, a mother's love is the strongest of all. And sadly, I've seen dads who have walked out or who have abandoned or have written off their children, but a mom's love, we know this 99% of the time, it is faithful, isn't it? But God's asking that question, you know, could a mother forget her child? Could she feel no love for him? And then God says this. He says, surely even she might forget, but I will never forget you. And God tells us here that his love, it is like that of a mom's, but it's even stronger. It's even more committed than that. It's even more faithful. And then he goes on to remind us how faithful his love is, is, is and how he could never forget one of his little ones that he loves. God says in the next verse, in verse 16, he says, Behold, I have engraved you in the palms of my hands. And when I read that verse, I, I can't help but think of Jesus when he held out his resurrected hands to his disciples and he said to them, Behold my hands and see that it is I. Those wounds on Jesus' hands, those were marks of his love. And in a very real way, through the cross, we were engraved on the palms of Jesus Christ for all time. He will never forget us. And still, the best way for us as human beings to start learning about what love is like, what strong, faithful, unconditional love look, looks like, is by looking at a mom and her child. It is how God helps us understand his love too. Hey, thank you so much for watching and a very happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there from, from all of us here at Watson Baptist Church.